should you be documenting your day? Because we've been doing it for years. Because without photography, there is no history. Showcasing your working environment forms that unconscious attachment with a client. The moment they step through your door, they already feel familiar with their surroundings because they recognize it. Even if it's the first time they've stepped foot through the door, they already feel comfortable. If you're a creative who works from home, showing your work environment may not fit this narrative. This is okay. There are still aspects of what you do that you should showcase. Possibly a time lapse of you editing a video or a photograph. And insights of the process you go through to achieve the end result. Behind the scenes photos or short videos can be really impactful. This is the power of documenting your day. Welcome to Visual Storytelling Podcast with me, Gary Fernan. Being creative with a camera offers a different perspective to what uh, is involved within your daily operations. Think close up, wide angle, slow shutter speeds, flash versus strobe versus ambient lighting. Let's now narrow in on the ROI of documentary photography and your business. Take one photo and post it. You're done for the day. Repeat this every day for five days, assuming you work five days a week. That's one photo for each day you're open. Nailed it. The problem with this is you and all your competitors are doing the same. Let's assume for a moment that you all have the same photo for each day. How do you set yourself apart? The answer is variety and numbers. When considering variety, as I mentioned before, think wide angle, mid focal and close up shots. Be creative by using available light or alternative shutter speeds, even shooting through objects. So far as the numbers are concerned, post one photo Monday to Friday, you require 20 photos each month. Multiply that by 12 months, you'll require 240 photos for the year. Post two photos Monday to Friday, you require 40 photos each month. Multiply that by 12 months, you'll require 480 photos for the year. Post three photos Monday to Friday, you require 60 photos each month. Multiply that by 12 months, you'll require 720 photos for the year. You get the idea. Now, I've spoken specifically about photography, but this can also be applied to video. The obvious differences with regards to variety is a mixture of landscape and portrait orientated videos. But this isn't the only varying factors you can consider. Think slow motion, speed ramping, music choice, editing techniques. So for example, the types of transitions you're going to use. Like photography, there are many other aspects you can consider to make your videos engaging and different. So if you are a photographer or videographer, don't be afraid to push the boundaries. If you haven't already, you will be discovering your unique style. Capture what you need to fulfill the brief and keep your clients happy and hopefully wanting more. Once you've delivered, then you can test your creative limits. If you are not a photographer or videographer, but trying this yourself, the same rules apply. Hopefully this is at home and resonated with you. I'm always open to offering my thoughts uh, on any given project. So if you want a constructive alternative opinion, do not hesitate to get in touch. Uh, and until next time, be creative, be inspired, be you.